Hello and welcome. My name is Bobby Galeza. I am the Cub Scout Advancement Chair for the Polaris District in the Greater Niagara Frontier Council. Today I will be going over activity tracking for the Advancement Chair as well as Key 3 in her unit. This can be used for both Cub Scouts and Scouts BSA. In this tutorial I will be using the Sandbox version of Scoutbook. This is created so you can play around in Scoutbook and not worry about making any mistakes. The website is scoutbookpp.scouting.org. For your unit, you would use scoutbook.scouting.org. The login will be the same as you use for youth protection training. So go into login, you'll type in your username and password for, for the sandbox. There's a drop down. I'm going to choose uh, charter organization rep for the pack. Once logged in, you will be on your dashboard. In the upper left hand corner, next to the words My Dashboard, is a house icon. Click that. Next, you will need to click Internet Advancement. This should open up a new tab for you, and you'll be logged into your Internet Advancement. On the left side, you'll need to click Activities. This will bring up your activities calendar. To add an activity, click the plus sign in the upper right hand corner and choose which activity you want to do. You'll select from camping, hiking, or service hours. We will pick camping for this demonstration. Next you'll need to click add person and this will drop down giving you the names of everybody in your unit. So we'll just collect random people on here. You can see the adults, they're the ones that have the hats, the uh, campaign style hat on there, while the youth have like a baseball cap on their person. Okay, once you have everybody that was at the activity selected, you'll now need to click create new activity. You'll need to type in a name. We will type in fall camp out. And the date of it starting will go October 7th, ending on October 9th. You can tell at what time it started at. So we're going to start at 6 p.m. And end at 10 a.m. And you will tell it where the location is. So because this is in, we're going to go to Camp Scout Haven. And it will fill in your address of where the camp is. You can type in any details that you need for the camp out. So this was a three-day, two-night camp out for the kids and for the adults. Now, in case you have anybody that did not stay for the entire, entire time, you can go to individual and you can edit each person's uh, days and nights. So on here, if Robert was only there for, he had uh, something going on on Friday, so he couldn't make it out until Saturday, so he had two days, one night. Then you'll click record and finish. Now if we go back to the previous year, you'll see that now October has a activity in there and there's our activity. This now gives every every scout and adult credit for those campouts. And again, you could go through and set it up for do camping, hiking, or service hours. Um, for the service hours, now for Scouts BSA, when you do these service hours there, it'll ask you if this was for an Eagle project. That way it keeps track of it for that Eagle Scout as well. I hope you have found this video informational. Please comment to let me know, you know what you think, you know how I may be able to improve, um, what things you would like to uh, see next. 
and may the great Scoutmaster of all Scouts be with us until we meet again.